I went to go home, visit my parents, see some other relatives and friends. I got to have lunch with my 97-year-old great aunt, which is amazing. Yeah. Okay. Chances are you might have met her. She's been around a while, so. <laughs> I assume that's what the applause was. <laughs> She's wonderful. And if you have the chance to hang out with somebody that has that kind of life experience, you've got to jump on that. I mean, not literally, you'll crush your bones to dust, but <laughs> you've got to seize that opportunity because there's so much family history and life experience in a person like that. And with a healthy 97 year old, they're going to have a confidence that's like aspirational and you're not going to see it anywhere else on earth. <laughs> My great aunt walks around all day like she just won an Oscar on top of Mount Everest. <laughs> that's just her all day long, just unbeatable swagger, oxygen tank. That's her whole deal. <laughs> the hubris comes out in different ways. We were out at lunch. We finish the meal, the waiter comes over. He says, can I interest you in dessert? I have one dessert special to offer. It's a slice of pumpkin pie. And my great aunt looks him right in the eyes, grown man, and says, we'll have some grapes for the table. <laughs> and the waiter says, grapes? And she goes, for the table. And <laughs> the waiter walks out of the room, presumably to quit, is what I thought was happening. She's like, oh boy. Better go back to law school, like my dad keeps saying. <laughs> Comes back two minutes later with three giant bowls of grapes for the table. There weren't even grapes on the menu at this restaurant. Such is the power of 97-year-old self-esteem. My great aunt just thought about grapes, said the word grapes, manifested grapes into her life. And why wouldn't she behave like that? Why wouldn't she? When you're 97, you don't have a lot of time to go a bunch of different places asking for the stuff they advertise. <laughs> when you're 97, you go where people bring you. <laughs> you tell the nice folks there what you want in your life and you make it their problem for a while. <laughs> Just like, oh, dessert? Yeah, I'd like some grapes for the table also. Stamps, hard candy, batteries, and my cholesterol medication. I'm 97 and you're my concierge to the universe right now. So make it quick, because I have Jeopardy set to DVR, but I don't know what that means, so I have to watch it live. 